1505, where is your emergency? Hello? Active shooter at Toyota Berkeley. Where in Berkeley? 1025 East Shore Highway. 1025 East Shore, someone is shooting people? Yes, he's on up, upstairs. Okay. okay, he's firing some shots. He's... Get the building, get the building. Sir, can you give me a description of this person? This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. 24-year-old Alana Gallen was beautiful. She was sweet, caring, and shy. If you were lucky enough to really get to know Alana, you would see that she also had a goofy side. She was extremely quiet, but she had a million-dollar smile. She was always smiling, showing off those beautiful deep-set dimples. Alana was a mother. She had one son, seven-year-old King. She was 16 when she found out she would be a mother, 17 when she had him. And although she was young, from the day she found out she was pregnant, she vowed to be the very best mother that she could be. And that's exactly what she was, an excellent mother. King was her best friend, and everything she did was for him. Alana held down three jobs to support her son. She was working at a Toyota dealership service center. She was also working at a car rental place and she was working at a grocery store. She was really out here getting to the coin for her baby. All she ever wanted was to give him a good life and send her baby off to college one day. She was working hard to make sure that that happened. King's father was 24 year old Lamar Walker. And although he and Alana tried to make their relationship work for many years, eventually Alana got tired of putting up with his reckless behavior and she called it quits. All she wanted from Lamar at this point was a healthy co-parenting relationship. But Lamar did not take the breakup well at all. He wanted Alana back. He didn't want to be a co-parent. He wanted to be a family. And the fact that Alana didn't want that with him turned him into a bitter baby daddy. It seemed like he was dead set on making the co-parenting relationship as difficult as possible. And Alana knew it. In a social media post, Alana wrote, My biggest regret is having a kid by the person I had a kid by. But that L is a lesson. She knew Lamar was trying to make her life a living hell. And she knew establishing any type of healthy co-parenting relationship would be an uphill battle. But nobody expected things to turn out the way that they did on September 21st of 2023. 1505, where is your emergency? Hello? Active shooter at Toyota Berkeley. Where in Berkeley? 1025 East Shore Highway. 1025 East Shore, someone is shooting people? Yes, he's on up upstairs. Okay. Okay, he's firing some shots. He's get the building, get the building. Sir, can you give me a description of this person? It was a Thursday, and Alana had work at the Toyota dealership. She began her shift as normal. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary until about eleven fifteen when Lamar comes walking through the front door. Police say he and Alana were in a custody disagreement, but no one knows exactly what the specifics of the disagreement were. What we do know is Lamar casually walks to Alana's desk. The two exchange brief words, and the very next thing we know is that Lamar is pulling out a weapon. He shoots Alana at point-blank range, killing her instantly. Moments later, he turns the weapon on himself in an attempt to do self-harm but he's unsuccessful. So obviously, once Alana's co-workers see Lamar pull out that weapon, they scatter and they begin calling 911. When police arrive on the scene, Lamar is scrunched under Alana's desk where he points the weapon at them. They immediately fire at him, killing him instantly, leaving seven-year-old King parentless. Um, Chow doesn't have a mother or a father. And that's saddening for me, for real. 
The mother of a woman who was shot to death at an East Bay car dealership is searching for answers tonight as her family tries to come to terms with the loss of a daughter and mother who leaves behind a young son. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alex Savage. And I'm Heather Holmes. The family of Alona Gallen says that they are frustrated and asking for answers from police as they try to make sense of her killing that happened last week. KTV's Bailey O'Carroll joining us now live. And Bailey, you spoke with the family today. What did they tell you? That's right, uh, Heather and Alex. The family told me they are in shock and sad that 24-year-old Alana Gallen was killed in what they say was a senseless shooting. They told me that they're also frustrated by the lack of answers police have given them. I would want to die before my kids. I don't want to see none of my kids. I don't want any parent to have to ever go through this. None whatsoever. Yvonne de Gallen is the mother of 24-year-old Alana Gallen, who was shot and killed by the father of her 7-year-old son, King. According to police, the gunman entered the Toyota dealership on Thursday before noon and shot Gallen. When police arrived, they shot and killed the suspect. But Gallen says right now, there's more questions than answers. Everything was, I don't know, I don't know. We don't have all the information. Gallen said her daughter loved life, but said her priority was her son. Her seven-year-old um, child doesn't have a mother or a father, and that's saddening for me. I told him that his mom and his father was gone. He just laid his head back and said, no, they not. And after that, he's been crying. We all broke out crying. He's been seeing him cry, um, everyone cry. Gallen says her daughter was not in a relationship with her alleged killer at the time of the shooting, but instead that the two were co-parenting King together. Gallen says now both parents are gone, all because of a senseless act. It's going to be um, hard for me, hard for my family, of course, because mm -hmm. she was very much loved by everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone loved my daughter. Yeah. This case is so tragic. And there are so many unanswered questions, like what in the entire was going on in Lamar's head. Unfortunately, we will never know. He put on this facade like he was so concerned about his son and his son's well-being, when really he was only worried about Alana and controlling Alana. Once he realized that she was no longer going to be in a relationship with him, he snapped. Now King has to grow up without a mother and a father. It's just sad. My heart truly goes out to Alana's family, especially King. Alana's mom was absolutely right. No parent should ever have to bury their child because of a bitter baby father. Breaking up with someone or even divorcing someone should never ever end in the loss of life. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship, get out now. Just leave. Do not try to co-parent with someone who is clearly mentally unstable. Just get out of the relationship, move to another city, move to another state, do whatever you need to do to protect yourself and your children. As always, loves, stay safe, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content.